there are so many beautiful places in Europe we are not aware of. So sometimes we go to super exotic destinations, not knowing that probably 1000 kilometers is here. Such a beautiful spring! It was much less well defended than the actual city, which had a high wall all around it. And so it was easier for an enemy to penetrate what's known as La Plaine, the plain. And when this happened, at least on one occasion, the, the, a garrison stationed on the bridge were able to uh, rout them. So it, it, it did have a, uh, that sort of function. Savez qu'or était appelé la belle endormie. On essaie de réveiller cette belle endormie parce qu'elle est belle, c'est une très très belle ville. Et à un moment donné, nous avons besoin vraiment de nous engager, prendre des risques, quelques risques, pour enclencher des processus vertueux pour notre ville et notre territoire. What what strikes me on the on the city, in a way, it's the contrast in in the lively of the quarters. I mean, uh, it's quite different from the boulevard where you see everybody sitting down and going around with families. And on the old city center, you didn't see almost no one. So I see perfectly the idea of the, the municipality to, to change that situation, to uh, try to create uh, some points of interest in the city center. And from there, uh, quite try to create a lively uh, place, for urban place to people in, can enjoy. I would say the jail, it was sadness, definitely sadness. It was uh, dark and sad and uh, it was a building which uh, you can sense the bad uh, feelings. I think there was Eva uh, above, above our heads here. Um, and then there's also uh, the, the semicircular arch favoured in Romanesque times. So you've got a little bit of mixture of different uh, uh, big folks already. As strange as it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a good chance for people, local people, to do it whatever they want and to make it uh, a start, uh, a point for a new start of Kaur. To me it has really a lot of potential. Uh, it could become a, really a creativity hub and you can even uh, divide the space between more activities because it's very big, it has open spaces and included spaces, so it really could become a focus point for the for Kaor. I mean, there are some um, uh, maybe creative professionals that could uh, appreciate the prison as it is now, so for example some uh, video makers or photographers could think it's an interesting set to make videos and take photos. It could uh, really uh, motivate uh, designers and artists to, for their works. Uh, you know, it really depends. It could also become a, a resource for a music industry, you know, to have a, not a concert hall, but record studios and place where uh, bands and, and bigger, uh, you know, uh, instrumental groups can play. Um, you know, it's, it's really full of potential for me. That's the magic of this project, the European Union's project, the Inherit. Uh, people outside of the box gives you the clear solution of what you can see if you are in the box. That's why I love this project. There is one building in the Chateau du Roi street. I think it's a building uh, almost in the middle, uh, which is in full restoration. The facade has been restored beautifully. It's a private investor who has uh, bought the building and I think uh, they did a marvelous uh, job. And one thing that um, interests me the most is that they had to choose an era uh, for restoration. So you had, they could choose between the 13th or the 15th century. They chose the 15th century um, state point of state. And uh, that was very, very interesting to see. Probably nowadays we are, we are used to wider streets and the medieval streets are like they are. So probably that is the issue 
in, on the ground floor, how you can widen the ground floors to open up spaces for the, with the yards. I know that you love to go to common dinners and, and visit the families and go outside. Probably this is a great opportunity for these ground floors to be opened up and flourishing. The first recommendation on the Chateau du Roi Street uh, we made also yesterday is that you have to get rid of the cars. I think that's uh, one of the most important uh, aspects because when we were walking down the street you had cars passing by and it was very annoying I, for us as visitors but I can imagine also for people living there. This type of networks uh, bring a lot of knowledge, know-how, new ideas, innovation. Because innovation is based on getting to know what others do and uh, transforming that into something useful to, uh, for your own reality. So of course I would say that lots of ideas and useful, um, useful examples have been gathered and put together in order to try to improve our own uh, strategy. The difference in Cahar uh, through the, the implementation of this project is the, the engagement of, of citizens, of people. There's a, a lot of uh, a lot more, inv more involvement of citizens on the decisions and it was uh, for them also I think they were surprised by the, the positive effect that it had on, the, on finding solutions uh, for the city. What's specific about Urbact is to uh, bring people together to find solution to complicated matters and I think that's what uh, Europe is about because in a complex and even uh, uh, speeding world like we are living today it's impossible to do alone but if we come together and try to find solution that's really at the base of, uh, of European Union. Sometimes in these projects uh, you don't feel the, the, the changes immediately. It takes some time to absorb all the changes, but as, as we go uh, close to the end of the project, we, we feel that the, the outputs we are producing is already reflecting uh, that change in perspective, which is very interesting. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, uh, you cannot measure directly in the middle of the project, but you start feeling some signs that things will change for the future. Mm -hmm.